Now let's talk about the client mindset for just a moment. What is it that the clients want to hear from you? You're in the sales scenario, you're presenting, you're about to talk to the people. The key buyers are in the room, the key decision makers are in the room. What do they want to hear from you? Different studies have shown different things customers want, but these are some of the overlapping things that all these different studies agree upon of what customers are looking for when you're talking to them. The first one is they want to know that you know their business. This is again, gets back to the empathy piece about the sales philosophy 2.0. You got to understand their business. You got to get inside their heads, feel their pain, so to speak. That's one of the key things. They want to know that you understand their business. Second, demonstrate market knowledge. In other words, understand what's going on in the market, in their market, not yours, in their market. So again, empathize with them, understand the different changes in the market, where the trends are going, what technologies are emerging, which aren't, which are dying off. How does your product fit? How does your product fit in a long-term roadmap for future development? In other words, if I buy your product, how does this fit in my long-term plans? This is called a basic roadmap, right? So they want to know that you understand not only your product, but you understand the market that they're in, but you also understand the changes is the dynamics of their market and what is actually happening. And if you can demonstrate this, all the better. Third is they want you to offer alternative solutions. So not just offer your solution, maybe give them different ways of thinking about your product that they've never thought about. So again, this is what they're looking for, not only for you to offer them just one solution, but maybe you have a couple of solutions they may be able to use, and that's what they want. Everybody likes choices. Everybody wants the ability to choose, right? Uh, helps clarify my thinking. That was a big one. They want you. See, you are a thought leader. You're an expert. That's how they want to perceive you. And if you want to build that credibility, you have to demonstrate to them that you understand different ways of looking at the market. They want you to help them clarify their thinking. Because again, customers don't know everything. Yeah, a lot of them think they know everything, but the majority will admit they don't know everything. And if you can come in and actually clarify, help them kind of walk through things, think through situations, and also position your product at the same time, then that's what they're looking for. Help them clarify their thinking. How about this one? My favorite, offer unique insight. Again, my favorite word, insight. Information beyond the obvious. Offer unique insight. Things they don't know. This gets back to helping them clarify their thinking. Because if you can come in with information that's beyond the obvious, that it's not easy to find, they will value that discussion with you. I want you to think about that for a second. When you sit down with somebody and they tell you things you didn't know and you're learning, well, guess what? You like that person, you want to be around that person, and the next time that person or salesperson wants to see you, you'll be happy to take the meeting because every time you meet with that person, there's a value exchange. You know, they know they're getting great information from you, which is why you have to understand your industry and your business better, better than your customers. You've got to position yourself as the expert, and again, Offer insight, unique insight, to help them clarify their thinking. Hey, Mr. Customer, have you ever thought about this? Did you know this is coming out? This is now happening. Maybe you should look at it this way, Mr. Customer. Hmm, that's what they're looking for. Last but not least is what, what we're, we're going to talk about later on is quantifying value. So not only talk about how great your product is, how you can position it with them, but really, what is the true value of what you're offering in quantifiable terms, not qualifiable terms, in other words, qualitative terms rather, but in quantifiable dollar terms, how your solution can help them increase their revenue or reduce their cost. This is what they're thinking about. And if as you're looking at this list, you say, well, Victor, I'm not strong in some of these, then you need to get strong. Because if you can't offer these things to a customer, then you're wasting their time. That's what they're thinking. Why should I meet with you if you're not going to show me something new, offer me some insight, help me with my business? This is, again, why you need to empathize, get inside their head. Because once you can empathize, get inside their head, remember the second part of the uh, sales philosophy was to educate. You can't educate if you can't empathize. That's why you have to really understand your business. Where do you get this knowledge? Obviously, the Internet's one place, but maybe talk to other customers. You know, why do people buy your product? Maybe ask your customers that. Talk to veteran salespeople. You know, what is it that you're seeing in the market? Get that feedback. Become a database, a warehouse of information, so that when you're talking to customers, they know that you know, and that's the right positioning. So go ahead and list these out. Think about these things, and we're going to move on to the next video.